Hey guys, how's everyone been? I'm here for a small little haul from Vintage Chic Sense. This was from her last um, restock she had. I think she was calling it 100 Days to Halloween. And I had kind of kicked myself for not getting stuff from her Stranger Things collection. And I saw she had a few, so I just grabbed a few. And mostly in the, the tile shapes, um, I got three in the tile shapes. Um, anyhow, I didn't want to get a whole lot um, as I have a lot of wax coming and I need to kind of take it easy, but there were some scents on there that I couldn't stay away from. And she sent this out. If you spend over 35, you get free shipping. And I just got this today. Um, I don't know why I keep ordering wax in the death of summer. It's like, you know, really difficult to keep wax um, from not melting. Like I've noticed the last couple shipments I've gotten of waxes, like I'm sure they were like perfect when they, you know, she put them in there, but they're just starting to slowly melt. So it's a little bit like of a bummer because you want to get everything pretty and nice, but whatever, I guess I am melting these. So on with uh, this order, it looks like I got a sample of the Warrens. And that is, I don't know if it's new or if it's something that she's done before. It's glaze, cinnamon, donuts, and a warm cup of Cider Lane caramel drizzle and marshmallows. It's a pretty green color. Hmm, it's really pretty. You definitely smell the Cider Lane. I'm not getting, um, the marshmallows too much, but a little bit of, I am getting a little bit like of a bakery, so we'll see how that does on warm. It's always nice. I don't know how many ounces of wax that is, but that's a good, you know, probably you could split that in half and get two melts out of. And the next one here is called Sabrina Spellman. And I love the fact that she puts the pour date and she always puts um, the scent notes, which I appreciate. This one is Palo Santo Vanilla Lace and Cashmere Fig. This is so cute. This one has like, it's like four, four leaf clover. Little glitters. It's like black, black glitter or something like that. And this one smells really nice. I like her Palo Santo. You get a, that vanilla lace next. And then to finish it off, that cashmere fig comes in, which this will be great for fall. This is like really pretty. So I'm excited I got that. I think I am gonna let it cure though, like as long as possible, because this was poured July 27th. So that was only like a few days ago, or last week, so probably gonna wait on melting it but that's super nice and then I from her stranger things collection I got the upside down which is says keep calm and escape the upside down while melting this creamy coconut bonfire blend with a dash of sandalwood Let's do like first part eight just sounded too good. So that tile had like four of clover and I guess just does these little flower ones. Hmm, that's different. Maybe it needs more um, time to cure, but I'm not really getting coconut. I'm getting more of like a sandalwood kind of smoke blend. So I'm definitely gonna let that cure. I think that one needs to sit. But I think that will be nice once it's cured. And then we have Mrs. Wheeler, which is island coconut, coconut cream, and fresh coconut flakes. That's a lot of coconut. So pour it on July 1st, I should pour it the same day. This one's a really cute color. 
has multi glitters. Mmm, that's really good. It's definitely like multiple layers of coconut. You have like kind of like an island kind of vibe with the island coconut. And then it gets more like a creamy note. And then I do smell like this coconut flakes too. So I think this is gonna be really nice. I'm finding I really like coconut blends. So it's been nice to add to my collection. And then I got should I stay or should I go? This is a sugared apple pumpkin clove butter. Just sounded really good for fall. These are her little, it's a four pack of these um, kind of like flower coins that she does. Oh wow, that's really, you should really smell the clove. Look how pretty that is with them. Kind of like the copper glitter. Yeah, that's really strong on the clove. Like, that's predominantly clove. That's all I smell. <laughs> so I'm gonna let it sit and hopefully that apple and pumpkin kind of come through. But that is definitely good for fall, so I'm glad I picked that up. Then I got I didn't get anything else from her Stranger Things. I just picked this one up called Singing in the Rain. Fresh water, falling rain, shimmering blue lagoons. Same pour day, July 1st. This is like a cloud shape. Really pretty. Mm, that is super nice. Like, definitely get that aquatic note. Mmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's gonna be really nice to, once it starts raining, I think I'm gonna wanna melt this. And then I got one from her Johnny Depp kind of collection. This one, June 30th. And this one's Pirates of the Caribbean, which is lavender and chamomile with myrrh with a touch of sweetness, black pearl type. And this is like, I guess, one of our ghost shapes or something. That's really interesting. You definitely get the myrrh. It's got like this resiny note coming through, but then you have kind of like that, it's like a herbal kind of lavender with the chamomile. And then you do have a little sweetness. You, you do smell like that kind of black pearl kind of perfumey note coming in. So that's really nice, I like that. I think it's gonna do even better once it cures. Um, I feel like her stuff really, you need to cure it for a while. Like I got some stuff in a de-stash that was over a year cure time and it seems like it throws really well once it's hit that like year. So I don't really wanna wait a year to melt these but I'm just gonna wait as long as possible. And the last one I got is the Final Girl, which is a pumpkin spice, chestnuts, and brown sugar. This was poured July 20th, so pretty recently. And this is like her ghost face. This would be really nice for Halloween. I'm hoping these, most of these will be cured by Halloween. Mmm, that's super good. I really like that. You definitely smell that pumpkin spice. Snice? What is that word? Pumpkin spice with the brown sugar. And then you barely get the chestnuts, but I think once, you know, it's cured a little bit longer and once you warm it, it, it'd be like a really nice blend with the chestnut. I think that's hopefully going to come through a little more. So that's everything I have here. I'm super happy with this order. It was a small but good one um like i said i'm trying to kick back because i have a lot of um you know things coming from previous pre-orders and 
um, but I couldn't pass this up, so I wanted to share with you guys, and I just got my Witches Moon Box, so I'm probably going to try to do that video later as well, so be on the lookout for that. I hope everyone's having a beautiful Friday and a, um, you know, great start to the weekend kind of vibe coming in, and I will talk to you, guys, talk to you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.